What's up guys, my name is Technobo and welcome back to a new video. So you probably found this video searching for the AE Video Filter 11 fix and lucky you I've got one. So to put this in context, for the past 6, 7 or 8 months I've been struggling with not only Adobe Premiere Pro but also After Effects 2017, 2018 and now 2019 on the exact same reproducible issue that I have no idea what's causing it up until this point right now. So if you've gone and googled it, you've probably gone through hundreds of pages before you came across this video, hopefully not, because I spend way too much time going through pages upon pages of Google, to no avail. Basically, the reproducible problem is caused by adding any GPU accelerated plugin effect transition to a video in the timeline in After Effects or Premiere Pro, and as soon as you hit the enable GPU box or use GPU or GPU acceleration, it either crashes the program, freezes it, makes the preview not work, or it gives you the dreaded AE Video Filter 11 error. Now, you're probably wondering how in the heck did I figure out how to solve this? To be honest, I have no idea. I tried reinstalling all of the programs once, twice, three times, reinstalling all of my plugins, reinstalling Windows even, trying to disable my different GPUs, and eventually I found the issue. Basically, back in the beginning of the year, I enabled my i7-6700K's internal GPU to be able to encode faster with hardware encoding in Premiere Pro for exporting. Basically, as soon as you do that, the hardware acceleration export is enabled, and you can export it using something called Intel QuickSync, and it's a heck of a lot faster than just using your CPU to encode. You're probably saying, why can't you just use your NVIDIA 1080 Ti and 1080 to do it, or an AMD graphics card? Because those aren't supported for exporting, note that word, out of Premiere Pro, and I've come across this issue many times, and QuickSync basically helped me export videos way faster than my CPU could, because it's only a quad-core i7. So, how do you fix it? Well, open up your device manager and disable your Intel HD graphics processor, which is natively inside of your CPU. It's very simple. Start, device manager, Intel HD graphics, right click, disable, done. You can use GPU acceleration absolutely anywhere and it works perfectly fine. I have no idea why this is happening. I've tried updating the drivers, tried reinstalling the drivers in different ways, and it just doesn't work. And in my laptop right next to me was the i7-7700HQ CPU, which is another quad-core i7. It's got almost the same version of Intel HD graphics. I think it's 100 or something above, like 650 or something. I don't know. It works perfectly fine there with the NVIDIA 1050 Ti that's inside of it. I have absolutely no cooking clue why it does, but it doesn't work on my desktop, and hopefully disabling the Intel HD graphics driver works for you. So, that's basically it. To enable GPU acceleration inside of Premiere Pro, if you're getting this error AE Video Filter 11, if disabling it works, then I'm sorry for you. You're just going to have to join me in exporting your videos without using QuickSync and hardware acceleration. It's dumb, I know, but the only way that I can see around this is by editing it and then rendering previews. So you select an in and out point, do all the editing, and then you hit enter or whatever key you have set to the render previews button, render through everything, save the project, enable your Intel HD graphics and come back to export it then that might work, as long as you have that Use Previews button ticked. Anyways, I hope this helped. It helped me. Unfortunately, my render times are either going to be a bit longer, or I'm going to have to do all this extra work, but I think it's worth it to be able to use the GPU accelerated effects, because I use a lot of those, and those tend to drag me down in my rendering when I have to use them through CPU. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Bean Technobo, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.